it's Matt Selhorst, Lake Wiley Marina. I'm here with our uh, newest addition to our pre-owned uh, fleet. We have a 2007 Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. Um, this is a beautiful boat. We just took it in uh, the other day, just been washed up. Um, has right at 100 hours on it. Uh, again, a 2007 240 Sea Ray Sun Deck, uh, 5.0 MPI Merc Cruiser engine. Um, this boat actually has some warranty remaining on it. Uh, the warranty goes until March 2011. So you're buying a pre-owned boat, saving some money, but you're still getting the warranty, which is uh, very uncommon on this year's boat. Again, it's a 2007. Let's go ahead and take a look around the outside, show you the uh, gel coat, and then we'll hop on inside, show you the uh, interior features. Uh, this is one of Sea Ray's most popular boats that they've ever made uh, for the past nine years or so, ten years, uh, the Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. So let's take a look around. All right, here's we're taking a look at this uh, black Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck. The uh, gel coat on this boat, it's always been a freshwater boat uh, here at Lake Wiley. We're uh, just south of Charlotte, North Carolina. Actually, uh, part of our lake is in Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, gel coat's in great shape with only 100 hours on this boat. Not a ton of time for it to uh, have any issues. Come back to the swim platform. The Sea Ray, you'll commonly find that large swim platform that goes all the way over the lower unit. Uh, we'll show you that a little bit better here shortly. But first, I want to show you the uh, transom trailer switch. If you are trailering this boat, nice and easy to put that uh, lower unit up and down. And you'll also see the uh, round remote control back there. That's the remote control for the stereo. So if you're uh, swimming off the back, anchored out at the sandbar, or in a cove somewhere, you can change that radio, turn up the volume, turn it down, switch songs, all of that from the, uh, from the water. A nice deep swim ladder comes right over the, um, the lower unit when that's all the way in the, the down position. Uh, there's no way you're going hit to your, hit your toes on that. Very safe for the kids swimming off the back. As we look here, we'll take a look at the Bravo 3 lower unit. You can see we've got the stainless steel counter-rotating props. And uh, it's kind of dark, but uh, the lower unit's in great shape, no corrosion, and um, the original uh, decals even. You can see uh, CB2, this boat has been in our, our dry storage here at Lake, Nor Lake Wiley Marina since it was new. Your uh, ski tow bar, attach your ski ropes, uh, inner tube ropes, all of that there. And again, come down, take a look on this side. You've got your trim tabs on both sides, and the lower unit's in just as good a shape on this side. Again, original decals uh, looking really good. Continue on. Next thing you'll see is the transom washdown shower. Pull this out here. You can use that to, uh, when you're coming in, you can wash down your feet if you're on the sandbar. And um, makes it nice and easy to... Nice and easy to keep your boat clean on the inside and out. Continue down on the outside here. You can see that fiberglass is in nice, nice condition. Uh, rub rail's even in good condition. You got that sharp looking stainless steel rub rail. And you can see your hatch there. And just a nice clean looking boat. So let's go ahead and take a look on the side here. All the way down, nice sharp looking boat. That bimini top folds up and down nice and easy. I just put it up before I started filming, um, and uh, that is in good shape as well. So let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. All right, taking a look in the uh, cockpit of this 2007 240 Sun Deck. See, you've got the snap-in carpet all the way throughout. You've got your entertainment center with the sink and storage. Storage is something you'll find a ton of on this boat. And uh, one thing that a lot of people like is this walk-through transom. Nice and easy to step aboard this boat. Don't have to jump on seats or over sun pads or anything like that. Just nice and easy to step right on in. Take a look at the bow. You can see the forward-facing stereo speakers. As you're cruising down the lake, you don't have to crank the stereo volume way up just to hear the, uh, hear the music going on. Everybody can hear it um, at a reasonable level. Lounge seats in the front make it nice and easy for uh, somebody to lay out get some sun even the largest person I'm 6'2 and I can lay with my feet not even getting close to the edge uh, you can also sit four up here maybe even six 
uh, comfortably if you're sitting straight up and down. A uh, cooler located right there. Then you have your uh, anchor locker, which also has a uh, swim ladder in it. So as you're out on that uh, sandbar, um, getting into the boat, you can get out from the from the front, uh, from that bow, which makes it nice and easy. And then you also have the in-floor storage locker and uh, a spot for a table right up front. Another wash down up front if you are coming in off the off the bow of the boat. You can rinse your feet off, rinse the dog off, uh, rinse the kids off, whatever it is, and uh, keep your boat nice and clean. Take a look here. You've got uh, nice, easy grab handles on the inside of the boat. So as you're sitting lounged out in that seat, you can hold on. You're not uh, bouncing your elbow or your arm getting all bruised up on uh, that bow rail. Looking to the back, again, you have on the floor there, you have another table hole where you can set your table up. This one actually has a uh, wakeboard mirror, so you can do some wakeboarding and, and watch what's going on behind you. This L-shaped wraparound seating in the uh, stern of the boat, uh, again, nice and comfortable, fit a bunch of people in. And the um, freshwater entertainment system where you've got storage down there as well. As we look at the uh, helm of the boat, you can see this one has the upgraded seats, nice and comfortable. Uh, with that uh, flip-up bolster, as I'll try to do this here, and let you see how that flips up, gives you the ability to drive sitting down, but also standing and leaning, which is like how I like to drive when I am uh, docking a boat or pulling skiers. We talked about the Mer Cruiser out drive. You see the throttle there, and a nice, clean, good-looking dash with the uh, with the wood panel. You've got your compass up front. You've got uh, nice, solid toggle switches. And uh, you have a remote pad for the stereo. Again, um, the way Sea Ray does their stereo system will look in this compartment. Sea Ray puts their puts their stereos in the compartment to keep them out of the weather, but then gives you the remote pads to uh, make it nice and easy. This one, you've got an iPod docking station right here, and you've got a CD player that uh, right there is that flips down. So you've got all the music you need. You also have dedicated storage for your cooler, and you can see the uh, post there. This this has two tables. You've got two spots for it, and then you also, in that dark compartment, is a bunch more storage. This is another feature that I really like on the Sea Rays. You can see that door closes up, and when you close that windshield as you boat into the uh, colder seasons or in the evening, it's really going to warm it in the back for your passengers, something that uh, my family uses all the time on the boat getting that uh, windshield closed and uh, putting that wind blocker up there nice and convenient take a look here in the head compartment the 240 has a nice large head compartment you also have the uh, sink on the inside there more storage for any of your toiletry items and this actually has the uh, pump out head you can see the plumbing there so uh, you can come to our marina use our pump out facility at any time free of charge and uh, makes that uh, chore a little easier on you. Again, the uh, co-captain's chair, again, that upgraded seat with the uh, bolster, which allows you to go in the sitting position or in the uh, standing position leaning up against that bolster. Another in-floor ski locker. We'll uh, open that up here real quick and uh, show you how big this compartment is. As you can see, the storage lid stays up all by itself with that gas assist. Um, if I was to step in there, it would come up almost to my knee. That's how deep that thing is. Um, this boat is going to come with a bunch of gear. You've got an inner tube. You've got a knee board. Uh, you've got some tow ropes. You've got uh, life jackets, fenders, uh, dock lines, and I believe there's an anchor as well. So uh, a lot of gear that, uh, especially if you're a first-time boater, are chains and styles that you may not have. So let's go ahead and as we're taking a look at the upholstery, all in great shape. Um, haven't seen a, a single nick or tear in any of the seats. It goes for the bow as well. But uh, let's take a look at that engine compartment. All right, here we're looking at the uh, Mercruiser 5.0 fuel-injected engine. A little dark in here, but uh, you can see the engine compartment. Uh, because this boat has been in our storage facility since new, we sold it uh, new out of our Lake Norman store at the boat show in uh, 07 or 08. 
Um, we've also done all the maintenance, so you know the, the boat's been taken care of properly by certified Merc Cruiser Mechanics. Um, very efficient engine. It's going to get this boat up and going uh, in the mid-40s, so plenty of uh, power to pull any of your water skiers, wakeboarders, kneeboarders, uh, anybody in the family. Along with that power, this boat is rated for 12 people or 2,000 pounds. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the outside and uh, take one more look at the uh, exterior of this beautiful Sea Ray. All right, we just took a look at this beautiful Sea Ray 240 Sun Deck that we have available 2007. Uh, to find out more information on the boat, uh, my name is Matt Selhorst. Give me a call here at Lake Wiley Marina. The number is 803-831-2101. My extension is 630. Again, 803-831-2101, extension 630. You can also see my uh, email address at the bottom of this video. Uh, just tell you a couple extra things that come with this boat. We talked about the knee board, the inner tube, the ropes, the dock lines, the fenders. Um, you've got a snap-on canvas cover, a black that matches the front and in the cockpit. You also have a full cover that goes over the entire boat. Um, that black, again, matches and is fitted. Uh, you have the mirror and you have the bimini top. Uh, all of that in addition to uh, everything else that we saw when we were going through the boat. Uh, so if you'd like to learn about this boat or any of our pre-owned or new uh, boats we have in inventory, uh, my name is Matt Selhorst. Give me a call, 803-831-2101, extension 630. Um, I do have my no sales pressure uh, guarantee uh, where I promise you'll receive no sales pressure talking with me. It's just the way I choose to do business. If you do ever feel a bit of pressure, um, call me on it, and I'll donate uh, $100 to your favorite charity or to the Justin Michaels Child Cancer Foundation, which is my favorite charity here in the area. Um, but I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks a lot.